and let's get started. I am using a six millimeter crochet hook. Hold the hook in your hand like a wand. And now with your yarn, we are going to tie a slip knot. Make a loop and take a portion of the yarn behind the loop and pull it through. Once it is pulled through, insert your hook. You have now made a slip knot. While holding your hook in your hand, your other hand will be the tension for the yarn. Place the yarn through your fingers. You will then use your thumb and your middle finger to hold the stitch. This helps to have an even tension. We will now start a chain stitch. Grab the yarn with your hook. This is called yarn over. You will then pull through the loop on your hook. You have now done your first chain stitch. Take your time doing this, being sure that you get the yarn through the loop each time, not making it too tight. We will now reposition your grip to the top of the stitch. Taking your thumb and your middle finger, you're going to grab up a little higher and then continue your chains. Try to keep the tension the same, not too tight and not too loose, readjusting your grip as you need to. Continue your chain until you have reached 8 inches or 20 centimeters. Now we're going to join our chain to make a circle. This will be called a slip stitch. Keeping your chain straight, we are going to insert our hook into the very first chain. Once we have inserted our hook, you want to have both of the ends in your left hand with the hook. Grabbing your yarn, we will then do a yarn over and pull through both loops. You have now made a slip stitch. Let's continue by doing a chain one. This will be our beginning chain one. We will now learn how to do a single crochet. Insert your hook into the first chain stitch. Make sure you go under the entire part of the yarn getting each strand. Pull up a loop, and now we're going to yarn over and pull through both loops. You have just made your first single crochet. Now repeat your single crochets in each chain until you reach back to the beginning.
take your time doing the stitches and make sure you readjust your grip as you move forward. Again, make sure you get under every strand of the yarn. Continue into each chain until you have reached the beginning first chain. All the way around. I have now come to my last two single crochets. And then the last one is in that last chain. And now we will do a single crochet in that first chain. Make sure you go under both pieces of yarn this time. We will then work a single crochet into the top of each of our other single crochets from the previous round. Work your single crochets under both pieces of yarn each time. Insert your hook under both, grab your yarn, yarn over and pull through. Continue with your single crochets. Here are some helpful hints as you continue along. Your loose yarn at the bottom is your starting point. I like to hold the yarn that is over my hook under my thumb and slide it along to hold it into place. Readjust your grip often Hold under the stitch that you are working on. Move your tension finger up and down for an even tension. When you have reached approximately one and a half inches or four centimeters, we will increase the stitches in our round. This will give us a tapered look, so it'll be wider at the top and it fits better on most of the cups. To increase, we will simply put a second single crochet in the same stitch. This will create two single crochets in one stitch. We will do that at the beginning of the round and again Halfway through, we will put two single crochets.
You don't have to measure, just take a guess of approximately the halfway point. At that point, we will then put our, our extra increase by putting two single crochets into one stitch. This just increases our row by two stitches evenly. Stop when you have reached about three inches or eight centimeters. Make sure you stop at the same point of where you started, keeping your rows even. Cut your yarn. You're just about done. Here is how to finish. Pull the cut yarn through. Thread your darning needle. We will now insert our darning needle into the second single crochet from where we left off. Keeping the yarn behind you, we are now going to insert the needle into the back portion of our last single crochet that we made. Just give it a little tug. Weave your end into the back side of your cozy. You have just now created a perfect join. Weaving the rest of your yarn into the back. Turn it inside out to make this a little easier. Have your darning needle just go in and out of the stitches one way, and then turn around going back the other way, again just weaving in and out. You can now cut your yarn. You can now see that we have a really nicely finished top edge. Now to weave the bottom. Thread your darning needle. Weave in and out of the bottom chains, probably about five or six of them, just going in and around, in and around. And now on the bottom, you have a really nice, perfect finish as well. We can then turn our cozy inside out and again, weave the rest of the end into the back weaving one way, and again weaving the other way.
thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. See you next time.